You recently on your Instagram posted a photo that you created, but it's an AI generated photo. Oh, Moses, oh. Moses parting the water yeah. in Rio Grande and there's border patrol agents like <laughs> chasing him down with yeah. their machine guns. And it's just like, um, it was kind of brilliant. Like it really was like a brilliant commentary, I thought, on um it was interesting. It was very, very interesting. I mean, my son had just started, you know, into AI and creating and he, and I said, you know, what what software is out there? Because I have no idea. I'm I'm totally behind the curve when it comes to this. Um and he gave me about two websites so I, I started exploring and experimenting and then I found one that was super easy right it's just you, you throw out the 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 thought the idea then it generates. yeah and I said oh let, let's see what this is about and it just occurred to me at that moment that was, I was the first image that I did was the Beatles playing at the border what would that look like right imagine mm -hmm. how that would look like and then I thought well what if Moses showed up at the Rio Grande and 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 parted the river yeah well, that looked like and um uh, and and now like i i i i think i remember describing you know surrounded by border patrol or something like that i don't know i don't remember the full description and that's what it generated and uh and it was an immediate you know hit in terms of translation it's like right. wow yeah I, I hadn't even really given it a lot of thought beyond the imaginary scene of what that could look like in that era and and as you can tell you know immigration is not new yeah to, um and and how have different uh generations or societies or countries dealt with it along the way and anyway it 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 was uh kind of initial fun project for me but then i understood kind of the power of that Mm -hmm. for better for worse um and it was so quick you know it generated under a minute yeah it was really really amazing and then that leads to like what 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 is my job going to look like five ten years from now or is it going to exist you know is it going to be relevant all of that it, yeah it what's your feeling on that like when you said you, you sensed the power of it for better or worse like well i, I you know when I was in Austin when I had to transition from analog film to digital. I was in that that time frame, and I was really paranoid because number one, I couldn't afford a digital camera. And I remember the first one I got because at that time nobody would hire you in Austin. All the magazines there would not hire you until you had a digital camera. Mm -hmm. it, it was that moment, that specific moment of transition, where they stopped hiring photographers that were shooting film. Yeah. But, oh my God, you know, what is this? I was paranoid. Number one, I didn't have the money. And number two, um, I said, this is really something else. It's like, I, I don't know. So I finally got the camera and I started, you know, Photoshop, the whole process of, of learning it. And I remember very vividly the first time that I used it on assignment, I was really paranoid. I, I, was tr I could not trust that this was being recorded in zeros and ones versus film yeah I so much wanted to just shoot film as a backup and then shoot digital because I did not trust it and then subsequent you know conversations within a year or two years of that were that you know this was the end of photography and as I started exploring Photoshop and digital I started realizing that no this is just a, a new tool yeah it's just an exponentially new tool and then you know, fast forward 15 uh, years and, and you you realize what some, you know, photographers have been doing with this new tool and yeah. it's exponential, it's exponential. So it opened a whole new realm of creativity without really destroying the essence of photography. So I sense that this will happen with AI. There's still going to be a huge, you know, human element to it. Mm -hmm. Like for example, the Moses description of that, well, who thought of that? Well, my brain thought of that. Right. You know? Yeah. I imagine that. Like, what would what would Moses do? Yeah. In the situation, you know. That's and, why I think I asked you on your post if you had prompted them the AI to put the border agents in there because. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Had AI just done that, I was gonna. My head was gonna explode. You know. Yeah. Um, 
so so you know there there is still going to be that human input um will there be surprises along the way very likely that are going to fool all of us but at the end of the day you know there's a human being behind it no matter what yeah i think exponentially there's going to be maybe in our lifetime some really incredible surprises that have never been seen before in terms of art yeah you know? and again i see it yeah it's a scary tool but so so is nuclear power you know yeah um, so i think it'll transition or it will translate to in my mind another very very powerful creative tool for for artists yeah yeah i that's that's kind of where i come down um on it is that to go back to what you said of like the the feeling of like at that time when the transitioning was happening into digital photography and the sense of like, well, is photography dead? And I mean, when I went through art school in the nineties, the whole conversation is, was painting dead because painting. people were paint was painting dead, you know, oh. because oh. people were doing oh. video work, people were doing installation, um, like more, um, environmental, uh, work and, um, that particular question like is painting dead has been something that's just like been a recurring thing in art history like at the advent of photography same question you know does this what does this mean for painting now that cameras yeah. exist you know um but you know here we are in 2024 now which is kind of crazy um and painting is flourishing and like having a moment you know so I don't have any fear that AI is going to completely displace artists and creativity, because again, it's that creative aspect that humans bring to it and that, that artists, you know, one of the roles that, um, that we take on is like being, is reflecting the world around us, whether it's intentional or not but AI is now a part of our world. And so when artists use a AI to, comp you know, to create artwork, I, I feel like that's a legitimate thing. You know, it's, it's another tool and it's reflective yeah. of the world that we live in. And we're at the, you know, the infancy of that. And there, yeah. it's just going to, we have no idea how, which, what all the ways that it's going to go. There's absolutely going to be some uses of it that are um, not in the, the best interests of humanity. Yeah. And we're, we're going to have to sort that out in the same way we've always had to sort it out with um, every other technology. Yeah. You know, um, but um, I mean, it, there's, there's like, some details like uh, sticky questions around like um like being able to reproduce an artist a, 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 like create a new work in the style of an existing artist that amounts to that you know a sense there's a sense of theft there and um yeah. You know, I think that and and questions around intellectual property are have been going on for a very long time. I think this is just going to expand that exploration of like, what is what does that really mean? You know, who does have ownership of their ideas and their style and their aesthetic? And um, I do think it's going to displace like um some of the definitely some of the more like menial tasks as far as like producing um imagery go but as a a former graphic designer <laughs> like i'm kind of okay with that <laughs> yeah you know, i'm and, and, okay and, with making some of that stuff easier so and, and it's true I, I have friends that are you know they have their own business let's say it's accounting or whatever and they're already attaching those duties yeah AI and it's saving them say it's, it's shaving off 20 30 percent of that tedious stuff they don't want to do or care to do yeah 
and they, they let AI take care of it. Yeah. And apparently, I'm not familiar with it, but apparently it's working really well. Yeah. So, so I just saw, so we're recording this on um, January 12th. And I just saw yesterday that Google had laid off like oh. hun several hundred engineers that yeah. are basically going to be replacing with AI. I didn't read the entire article, so I don't know all the details of that, but it's like, you know, this, this conversation around um, what is, what does AI mean for all of us and our job security and, and our purpose in life? Like, what do we have yeah. to offer to the world if, if AI can just come in and, and do this job instead of us, you know? And I think it comes back to like what you said about Steve Jobs having to fire a bunch of engineers because they they didn't have that creative aspect in them. And that's like, again, that's what like, that's what an engineer can, I mean, there is creativity in engineering. I know some engineers that are extremely creative people and I can't imagine how that aspect of it could be replaced by AI, you know? Right, right. Yeah. I think it's just, yeah, probably more than likely enhanced a lot of the ability of these guys that already are creative. Yeah. And channel that through through AI. Yeah. For better or for worse. I mean, there'll be some ugly things around the corner. But at the same time, um, I think you may expect some very incredible surprises. Yeah. For for the better. I mean, I, I'm 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 trying to stay as optimistic as possible about that because again, I I have had that scare before, like I mentioned with with mm -hmm. digital photography. I was seriously positively paranoid. Yeah. Like this can't be. You know, I come back with this card and it's and the images are there and where are they and what if they disappear and you know all that stuff. Uh, but look at us now. 